Hey guys, how to expert back here today? I'm gonna show you how to connect a computer fan. This one, um, it's a 12 volt DC DC fan, and it has a. Right now, I cut I cut off the tip that goes to the computer, but this is how it's gonna look like if you wanna connect. If you have a small fan, and you just cut off the plastic part. Just cutting it off a little bit, then just splice these cables and make them so you have this bare ends. And now you need a, a USB too. And with this USB, what you're gonna do, just get one you don't need and cut uh, the USB. Um, this one, I don't know for what it was. So you just cut off the whatever end, don't cut the USB part, cut the other end. And then you're gonna have uh, these cables. There's gonna be a green, you don't need it. A red that you do need, and you cut off the end also. Just leave it bare. Then there's gonna be a white, you don't need it. And a black, and you also cut off the end, and so you have the, just the cables. So you only need red and black. And same in the other side okay and now uh, since this is USB right here you're, uh, I have a, a wall charger for my iPod and I'm gonna show you it works on the power so I'm just gonna connect it up here to the light to this one and show you how it works for right now I'm just gonna leave it like that so once you do that, you splice your cables. You're gonna want to connect the red and black together. Let me just zoom in. Be sure to put in red with red and black with black. And you could use also um, if you don't plan on disconnecting it anymore, you could put a uh, black electrical tape on it. All you wanna do is just put them together the red and the red just twist them with your fingers and once you're they're together see I'm putting on this one now that they're together you put a black electrical tape on it and that it won't go anywhere and do the same for the other ones so they don't touch just in case because uh, if they're black this two, I'm just gonna alter you right now. So I'll do the same for the black ones. Just put them together and just twist them on like this. Okay, so now they're together, and you could just if you don't plan on disconnecting it anymore, you put some electrical tape on it on all of them. That way they don't get disconnected. And just double check. So there you go, and there's a fan, let me stand it up, where it won't fall. This is the side that the air blows toward, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to connect it, the USB, and there it goes. Yeah, and the, uh, the air is blown on this side. And on this side, it's getting the air from over here and blowing it, pushing it this way. I'm just gonna lift it up and put it on top of the mic so you could hear it. That's about it. How to connect it? Uh, I'll show you right now another thing. If you have a power station, you could connect it to that too, and it's gonna way, be way more stronger. So let me show you that real quick. Well, before I show you that, this is my setup. You see this? Just the fan that's working right now it's spinning it's on the cables just run towards there they're tied up back there they're tied up and it goes over there to the box that's where the USB is connected at so this is the whole setup all you need is the fan 
it's on you can see it I'm gonna disconnect it Let me move it up a little bit so you can see I'll connect it again and there it's working again let me show you the power station real quick okay so here's the power station so what you're gonna do is just connect the black one to the black and the red one to the red one okay it's on and all you need to do is just turn it on here you're gonna see I'm gonna turn on the the power station and the wind is blowing way stronger than connected to the to the light but via USB it's way stronger let me show you let me put it on top I don't know if you hear it but it gives it way more power I'm gonna turn it off Turn it back on. So that's it. Hope you liked the video.